today we are going to talk about that when we name the amino glycosides why different amino glycoside drugs are named slightly differently for example on the board right now i have put the name of 10 amino glycosides five amino glycosides are here four and one right now you look at it that some of these amino glycosides they are having suffix as mycin for example streptomycin tobra mycin cana mycin it is not mycin it is name mycin i have not committed any sin here neomycin peromomycin now all these very important amino glycosides at the end have suffix mycin but sometimes students get confused why some other amino glycosides are having at the end not mycin rather mycin m i c i n not m y c i n for example genta mycin natal mycin siso mycin plazo mycin now we have to see why this group of group of amino glycosides are having as a suffix mycin and why these have mycin of course i am going to talk about that but this lonely amino glycoside amikacin right it has the smallest suffix this is not amica mycin it is not amica mycin it is it is just amica sin and of course it should not remind you johnny sin right forget about that come back let's discover why different amino glycosides suffixes are different from each other the real secret lies the secret lies in the origin of these molecules in the what are, what is the real source of these amino glycosides or these amino glycosides precursors now actually the first of all which was discovered was streptomycin right now these amino glycosides were discovered or isolated or removed basically from soil bacteria a group of soil bacteria which are gram positive bacteria very abundantly present in nature right and these soil bacteria as a group are called micro yes they are called actino they are called actino my cetes right they are called actinomycetes now this actinomycetes is a very big group of bacteria and let let me tell you these so soil bacteria wow that is an unending sources of antibiotics presently the most of the antibiotics you know and you use are basically derived from actinomycetes right especially its especially its genus streptomyces right of course the first antibiotic was discovered penicillin which was not from uh, actinomycetes but later on we discovered actinomycetes is a never ending source of antibiotics even antifungals yes even anti cancer drugs we'll see those discussions later on right now we just focus on amino glycosides right now actinomycetes has its different genus one genus is streptomycin streptomyces cis genus now this genus streptomyces right it produces lot of bioactive products and some of them are amino glycosides and those amino glycosides which are derived from streptomyces genus of actinomycetes those amino glycosides are named 
in such a way that at the end we put mycin like streptomycin, tobramycin, yes, kanamycin, neomycin, and paromomycin. Right? This is one thing. So, this is what we have learned up to now that those aminoglycosides which are having mycin in the end, they are basically derived from streptomyces genus of actinomyces, mycetes, which are soil bacteria. Right? Then, question still remains why some other aminoglycoside like genta mycin, why they are called mycin, why they are not called mycin? The answer is that they, these are derived from an other genus of actinomycetes. And the other genus of actinomycetes is, yes, that is mono, micro, yes, micro, mono, spora, micro, mono, spora. Now this micro monospora, micro monospora genus, this is another group of soil bacterium from the actinomycetes. Now these micro monospora, they also produce antibiotic. For example, they produce gentamicin. So what did we do? that scientists to differentiate the aminoglycosides from the streptomyces from the aminoglycosides derived from micro monospora what did they do that those which were derived from streptomyces they were having suffix mycin and those which were derived from micro monospora they were having suffix mycin and in the end, for all of them, gentamicin was the first to be discovered, others were slightly altered form. Then, in the end, one of the aminoglycosides, amicacin, this was made semi-synthetically, semi-synthetically, right? Originally, it was produced as a modification of canamycin but later on semi-synthetically and amica sin you have to be careful if it was amica mycin we will think it is derived from streptomycin but it is not derived from streptomyces then if it is it was amica mycin then we will think it is derived from micro monospora but it is not derived from there right it is semi synthetic so we just call it amica sin right not amica mycin not amica mycin just amica sin and of course this amica sin should not remind you johnny sin right even don't google and look for who is johnny sin just remember that this is one way to name the, uh, this is a way how aminoglycosides are named. Another question which we will talk in the next session is that my macrolides are also having mycin in the end. For example, erythrocin is, erythrocin is erythromycin. Then there is azithromycin. Then there is clarithromycin. Now, there should be now there's a question that why how to differentiate now listen there's a question how to differentiate these aminoglycosides which are having mycin as a suffix from the macrolides which are also having mycin as a suffix how to differentiate that that we will discuss in the next session. Thank you very much.